We have crossed the threshold to the magic 70s, so we'll see how long we can make it. We're stressed generally, that's that's how they get ya. Being stressed and stuff usually gets ya. But he kinda hates us. Understandable. Are we still trying to kill one? Yeah, him actually. Banishment committee. But what we need right now... People to vote in our favor. Grease a few palms. Send a few gifts. Because this bishop forced us into a vote. Can I even vote on that? I would like to vote on that. Too late anyway. They forced my hand voting on it. Always forget to throw people out. That have favors. Oh well. Banishment I don't need. War declaration I need. But you need all these first. So it's quite annoying. So we've taken this piece. Not taken this piece yet. We start a war over it. Draw a claim on Jemtland. How many troops you got? How many troops we got? Probably press it because chances are we're going to lose it. No, it's it's a de jure claim for our kingdom. Title of Norway, so we shouldn't lose it. Let's get our troops ready and going. Everyone goes on a boat, except for those that don't have boats. Go spy. And I'm here. Send all these here as well. And we just kind of. Collect everyone out here into an army over here. We might lose a few trying to do this, but we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. Oh no, people know we are a murderer or an attempted murderer. What a terrible, terrible thing. So these thousand we send up immediately. Because they're so neatly stacked there. I think we'll do a war on two fronts. We'll attack his capital directly. Yeah, sure. Papal investiture. We, we don't really mind. Have them have it. So we do have a thousand troops coming as backup here. But we are looking at almost 
3,000 approaching. So we should probably get our best and brightest in here. We might want to support up there first. Yeah, let's do it. Not taking chances for once. Very uncharacteristic for us to not take chances. One of our allies is stepping in first. I will have to attack him anyway. Bundling up, waiting it out. We'll just wait for our morale to go up. Get our people together. I like how everyone can absolutely know that you're going to kill someone and you're attempting to do it. And yet when that person dies... People just don't really find it all that much. A shame. This boy now holds way too many titles. Dishonorable. I feel like killing people keeps pushing the dishonorable thing. How many of you are left anyway? A whole bunch left. He's the first one who doesn't hate us, besides us being dishonorable, and we'll probably die before that ever changes, so... Eh. So what we'll do, we'll leave one force here and move the rest down there, I think. But ship around. If we split like this, none of our armies are really in danger of whatever he throws at us, especially if he attacks us. Sure. Marry our courtier. Fine, boss. Might run into some sort of retinue or something. Sitting around here. Let's give him the organizer to lead. And you get someone. Get the B list. Check our council real quick. Is there someone more powerful in need of a job? Yeah, this man. So we'll put him in. Anyone more powerful? Nope. All good. Let's allow title revocation. That's a good one to have. I don't think this army is actually there to fight for him. He might be coming to our homeland. Now he's sitting around there. Honestly, before he gets to move his ships around, let's attack him. He gets the bonus. Do we give him a good fair chance to win this? If we've taken the land this is about, now we can join our troops together again. Sort of. Like this. Keeper of Swan. Sky, I Almana. Sky. I feel the the Duke of Somerset would like to have a seat on the council. Is it so, dear Duke of Som? No. What do you hate us? Dishonorable. Raised levies. Ah. What a little diva.
Okay, he went there and he's going right back again with his flight. Interesting. Find the white stag. I'm leaving the ships there to ensure that we can bring home our troops real quick after this is done. We don't have to walk around place. I mean, it's not that far to get to our own lands, but still. This is just kind of sitting there. We'll go on the offensive again once we've taken this first siege. Fighting him does give a good amount of war score because it is his main army. If you defeat that, well, not all that much left for them to do. Press our lovely claim here. So now we're still missing Eastland in the equation. Equation? Oh, great. That is really all we need. Anymore. We'll fill our third goal second goal third goal some goal let's stand down our troops let's bring home our retinue so creating the kingdom title right now wouldn't give us this here so we're not going to Oh wow, she actually came of age before we grew too old to marry again. So this 16 year old girl, this brave, brawny, kind young girl is now married to the 72 year old king of Norway. I can't see anything wrong with that whatsoever. Can you? I hope you can. Very little right with it as it is. Did you reclaim on Eastland? I think we should do it. What is this? Ah, it's just a count. Eat them. So how much? Ah, it's fine. People hate us, but who cares? We'll go du jour claim on Island. Get all our ducks in a row once more. All the fleet levies go up. And we put everyone on a ship again. All these ships. Oh, nope. The little island dweller. Already where you need to be. Get enough of ships up there. Get these people out of there and them here and hopefully I can get everyone where they need to go quick actually let's send this up there already how many troops they have 
Not a lot. That should be something. Send these down here. And send these uh, over there as well. Go on the ship already. What is this? Oh, send more ships over here. Okay. The Eastland might be coming here, so I'm not too eager to send absolutely everyone away. I want a bit here and a bit there, a bit everywhere. Seeing a bunch of irritated fleet movements, which make very little sense. Now that I look at them myself. And we go on an epic hunt, lovely stuff. Morkar, are you in a faction? Does not look like it. So why should we care? Okay, let's land over here maybe. And see who or what we encounter. We encounter attrition primarily. Okay, there he comes. Oh lovely, we might get brawny. We spend the weeks in the wilderness searching for prey. Do we get it? No. Shame, that would have been something. Another plus one health at, at the end of a life. Right, let's move our troops over here to Bedford to maybe get them to land on our shores. And I think we can split fairly safely to siege both. And we probably should build a fort there. And a fort here too should help us with the attrition. Because this here is actually tribal land and not feudal land. So there he is landing his troops now. Welcome to England, my Icelandic brothers. I regret to inform you, you have actually chosen the wrong move. Well, no, there's not really a right move for you, is there? Okay, we've built the forts, but I think this is just kind of Arctic and winter and stuff, so... Where did he go? Lovely. Our faithful hunting dog is always around and always happy to see us. So we lose the trade stressed. It's just amazing. Right there towards the end of life, we get a bit of respite from life. Okay, he has gathered some more forces. Let's give him another chance to invade us there. Let's be fair. Not sure he knows what he's doing. Oh look, Jerusalem got something there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the husband. So his mother. My daughter was married to this duke, so he inherited all of that. So he now has holdings up there. So even if he loses down in the near East Jerusalem, now has a hold over here in Scotland, which is pretty cool. Or might, he might send troops to retake some of this. 
Wow, we actually got her pregnant. So what we're going to do is click on the wrong button. Be catapulted across the world. No, actually, we want this. We want these people in charge here. We can kill him once he lands. Because we don't care. What? Oh, Terrain Arctic apparently does not give a negative or positive modifier. Interesting. It does look very mountainous. I figured all of this was, would be mountain, but it's Arctic. The fighting in the Arctic is just kind of, you know, like fighting in the plains or something. Let's give her a quail's foot. Oh dear, lovely wife. Anyone strong here? Anyone strong need a job? No? A court chaplain. But he's our... Not, uh, not our great commander there. No, 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 no. What else? Maybe we get captivate him. There we go. Time to press our claim. Land down our troops. And of course, our retinues are right there. <laughs> right, okay. So right now, we hold all the du jour pieces of Norway. Look at it. All of this, this, and this is all ours. And we would also hold all the du, du, du jour pieces of England. As you can see, there's nothing left. So if we created this now, we would get this here. But, big but. I don't want to create it before succession isn't done. Oh! You don't even have to have the... Oh! Okay, you don't need the titles, you just need to hold the du jour provinces. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. I love it. So now we just need to play this game until we get revolts that we can crush. Pretty much. Interesting. So the harder parts we got done actually within his lifetime, which is, um, I think, a feat worthy of recognition. This man has done real well. Growing this old, being a crusader and everything. Only crowned by a bishop. Maybe he even gets to forge his bloodline thing. Still. Do we have prisoners, maybe? Someone to execute. Let's ransom this boy. Okay, we need to we need to cool it with a warfare for a bit. Let's get our troops down here. Let's try and convert this man. Stand down everything and check that we actually stood down everything outside of our retinue. I think I wanted more... 
house carls. Get a few more house carls going. 400 house carls. Sound, sound like the right amount of house carls. daughter crazy stuff let's see who we can get her matrilineally the duke of Viken and the duke of romstal now let's check the realm tree well that's something only counts for us now so once we die and abdicate to our son it's not going to work anymore comfort our dear wife he's young and inexperienced the ways of the world and she's rejecting seduction attempts good lass good lass I, I swear, I did not believe that uh, that girl would grow up to be able to marry us before we died. That's just... that's just crazy stuff. Villagers starving. Sure. Give them some money. Food. We can pay for it, we can afford it. We got a, a, a few coin here. really happy with this because this one just kind of naturally appears uh, at a point i mean likely it would be best if we attacked something that has a different religion something down here we were to go and okay no holy war we can declare game a pape is the pape I don't actually know how to uh, fall in a crusade. I really don't know. What happened to Jerusalem? Oh, the Seljuks took it. So now we have a bit of Islam up here sitting around. Bailabic of Jerusalem. They're not even going to give me a claim on something like this. Ah. Oh well. 